AM Moto Surf World Championship returns to Rodi Gargadico, Italy, overlooking the crystalline waters of the Adriatic Sea for the fourth round of the 2024 season. Three days of action packed heats set against an idyllic backdrop culminated in thrilling final races where the champions of the Region Puglia Grand Prix of Italy were crowned. <laughs> Over 80 of the world's top moto surf athletes gathered in Rodigaganico to push the limits of motorized surfboards. Rodi Garganico is a charming historic town perched on a promontory overlooking the Adriatic Sea, surrounded by long stretches of pristine beaches. The track in Rodi Garganico sprawled across the harbour, running perilously close to walls and boats, creating a dramatic atmosphere reminiscent of Monaco in motorsport. Track is fast. It's very fast. Even the smallest mistake matters. Like if you're not going to squat down a little, you lose so much. So it's a fun track, but due to the marina and the conditions, we cannot have a split. So it'll be hard for everyone to pass. So it's gonna come down to the strategy of the, the Joker lap and trying to make up some, some time there. The Joker lap was longer than usual, extending out of the harbor into the rough, wavy conditions. Now let's get to know some of the top contenders across the various categories. Stock class stands out as one of the most hotly contested divisions, featuring both the stock and stock R Merlin Plus categories for younger participants. It is the largest category, featuring 25 riders from over 10 countries, all on stock, unmodified jet surf boards. With no mechanical advantages, the competition is purely about skill, a true test of each rider's abilities. In the stock class defending world champion, Kim Min Song has been the dominant force in this category and leads the championship standings. However, his winning streak came to an end at the previous race in Sweden, where Damian Kadlec managed to take the victory and upset Min Song's momentum. Kim Min Song won the qualifier, but just under seven hundredths of a second behind him was Damian Kadlec. It's going to be very tough because Kim Min Song is. Uh, very good, he's very fast, but I just won my first hit, that's good. Kim also won first hit, so that's bad, <laughs> but I don't know, we will see. Another Korean, Kim Down, was second in the championship and posed a serious threat to his fellow countryman, Min Song. A big threat to the Korean dominance was American Anthony Squire, who was fourth overall coming in to Ruddy Garganico. Qualifying didn't go too well. I uh, ended up fifth place in qualification, so that makes uh, I'm starting second in the heats. Czechia's Jakub Kozon was fifth, and Kuwaiti Hassan Bobas in sixth. The stock and stock R riders raced together in the three heats, divided into groups A, B, and C. The starting order of the final race would be determined by the points ranking after the three heats. Ultimately, Koreans Kim Min Song, Kim Down, and Czech Damian Kadlec were undefeated in their three heats. These top three would face off in the final race. Meanwhile, in the stock R class, Czechia's Danis Dusilek was leading in points coming into the Puglia GP. So I win the last race in Sweden, and I want to win this here in Italy. Thai rider Yanton Bachasarek was second, tied with Kuwait rider Faresh Ramadan. Czech rider Adam Ficek had an impressive run in the heats, managing to claw his way back from ninth on the starting grid. He would wear the number two shorts going into the final race, ahead of Faresh Ramadan and David Ricca in fourth. Before the stock finals, let's have a look at the other classes. category showcases the youngest competitors and emerging talents of the sport. There were six girls and nine boys eager to make their mark in the competition. Among the girls it was Czech rider Kristina Hrubkova, 34 points clear of second place Sara Zubarova. But Kristina Hrubkova uncharacteristically had a poor qualifier finishing in fifth. 
Czechoslovakia and Sada Zubarova was coming in on a high after a second place finish in Sweden. I was second in Sweden, so I'm ready to race here and be first. Czechia's Lora Markova was third overall and managed to clinch second on the starting grid. But it was the talented Polish rider Rosalia Janora who took first in the qualifier. Good, I ended up in the first uh, position like in the girls. And with the boys I'm fourth, so I'm happy about it. She continued her fabulous run and was undefeated in all three heats, ensuring pole position in the girls' final. Sara Zubarova was second and Laura Markova in third before the final. In the boys' division, Czech rider Sebastian Kostilecki was undefeated after three rounds and led the championship. But it was Czech rider Adam Kolar who had the fastest time in the qualifier. Lukas Schneider grabbed second, leaving the points leader Sebastian Kostilecki in third place. Adam Kolar dominated the three heats and would wear the number one shorts going into the final. Junior boys line up for the final. The flag drops and they're off. Adam Kolar on pole, but Sebastian Kostelecki begins to nudge ahead. Coming around the hole shot, Adam Kolar has the inside lane advantage and pulls ahead. Leo Lichal Kratosville, wearing the number eight shorts, has sneaked up on the inside and passed Lukas Schneider, now in fourth place. Great move from one of the youngest riders. Entering the calmer waters of the inner harbour, Adam Kolar in solid control of the race in first, behind Sebastian Kostelecki is second, and Mikolas Kostelecki is third. In the battle for fourth, young Leo leads Lukas Schneider in fourth. And Oliver Wolf running in sixth, loses it on the yellow, gets passed by Matthias Barvik. Amazing start from the Austrian talent, Leo, but Schneider soon reels in the Austrian on the long laps, and by lap five also moves ahead of Mikolas Kostelecki. Lucas now in third. And so Adam Kolar manages to stay ahead of the world number one, breaking Sebastian Kostelecki's winning streak and takes his first win of the season. Lucas Schneider fights back up to third, Mikolas Kostelecki fourth, and Leo finishes up in fifth. The start is pretty close with the Sebe Kostelecki. I was like really near to his board. Now it's the junior girls' final. Rosalia Yanora on pole, and the six riders are off. The top three spread out down to the whole shot boy. Laura Markova favoring a wide line on the outside as they enter the rolling seas outside the harbour. Kristina Hrubkova moves up the inside, challenging Laura Markova for third. The pair lock horns in a drag race to the start-finish line. Kristina has the speed and takes third place. Great opening salvo from the world number one. Polish rider Rosalia Janora looking comfortable in the lead. Can she top off her perfect weekend with a win? Kristina Hrybkova in third takes her long lap after Zubarova, hoping to pop out into second, but Zubarova is there and beats Kristina, keeping her second place. Lara Markova lost a position at the start, then she wipes out in lap three. Behind Czechia's Barbora Kolarova is there to capitalize and moves into fourth place. Going into the final lap, Rosalia Yonora has one last joker lap to complete. Zubarova and Kristina have both done theirs. It's going to be close. Sara Zubarova does it. She beats Rosalia to the long lap exit and takes first place. Oh, and Rosalia crashes on the second to last boy. Heartbreak for the young Polish talent. What a dramatic end as Sara Zubarova celebrates her first number one finish. Kristina Hrubkova gets second place and Barbora Kolarova naps third. Yesterday I say in Bastad I was second and today I'm ready to be first. So I do it. Super experience because the babes are so uh, big for me and it's good. I love you, Ready Gaga. This next category takes us from the youngest to the oldest. The Masters, featuring riders 40 years old and above, competing at the highest level. Leading the pack was Korean Kim Down, also racing in the stock category. Kim was undefeated this year in the first three rounds. Kim Down was fastest in qualifying and proceeded to win all three of his Group A heats. 
Zednak Kostelecki wore the number one shorts in the Group B heats and was also undefeated across the heats. In heat three, Martin Wurz and Yuri Sobacek were in the battle for third on the final starting grid. But a fall for Martin Wurz relegated him back into sixth going into the final. So it was a pity because I was in the second position. I lost at least four positions for the final, so I have to fix my board. 12th Masters head out for the final race. Kim Down has a stellar start, pulling away from Zednek Kostilecki. Martin Furtz has the pace and cuts to the inside, passing Petr Faltacek and Anthony Mastroni. Martin on the warpath attacks Yuri Stobacek, coming around the whole shot. Martin does it, passing Yuri Stobacek into third. In the battle for fifth, Anthony Mastroni is chasing Petr Faltacek on the outside, and the Canadian goes down. The choppy water proves too much. Coming around from the rough outer water, Zednek Kostelecki digs his nose in and is thrown off the board. The Czech rider gets back on the board but is unable to start. Disappointment as the Czech soon retires. Martin Wurz now second, Petr Faltacek in third place, Yeri Stobacek is fourth and chased by Polish rider Arkadiusz Janora who has incredibly risen from tenth to fifth. Over the next two laps, Arkadia Zianora completes his final long lap and passes Yuri Sobacek into third. Arkadias also passes Martin Furtz after the Czech rider has a fall. Kim Min Song finishes first undefeated for the fourth race and Martin Furtz grabs the final podium spot. Petr Faltacek fourth, Anthony Mastroni with an impressive fifth place. Yeah, a master class uh, was so easy. Uh, it was very normal. It's only one gas, full gas, you know. That's my motto, <laughs> full gas. <laughs> yeah, after the heat three, I'm absolutely happy with this weekend. category is one of the most exciting classes on the Motosurf Tour, boasting 17 riders from around the world. The Czech contingent dominates the category, led by this seemingly unbeatable Iliska Mariskova. It's going good, I won the qualification and today we have three heats, so I hope I'm going to win all three. I just have a good mindset on it. So. Liska's arch-rival Aneta Stolukalova came close to beating her in the previous race and is second in the championship. The qualifying's for me, uh, they turned out kind of, let's say, bad. I turned out third uh, because I had some technical issues with uh, the engine inside the board. And in third, Eli Charashova is looking to upset the balance at the top and she began in the qualifier. Nine seconds, point six, four, eight, which is... Deep. Oh. Seconds. Yeah, let's go. Thought I messed up quite bad, but, well, the result is a little bit different, so I'm happy about it. And now I'm standing with number one. It's on fourth place. <laughs> and joining the fray up from the junior category was Anna Burke from the USA, competing in her first Moto Surf Championships. Eli Chardashova won all of her heats, but she would start in second place behind Eliska Manishkova, who'd qualified in first. Aneta Stlukolova managed to clinch third place despite her struggles with the board. Emma Stlukolova was a fierce competitor and nearly beat veteran Eli Chardashova. Emma would start in fourth. Adela Ostrilova would start fifth, with Natalie Kashlikovia in sixth. The massive field tucks in as the flag drops. The race is on. Eliska Marishkova has great speed and is able to hold off Eli Chardashova in second. Aneta Strukolova chases in third, Emma Strukolova is fourth. Eliska Marishkova has a commanding lead, but her compatriot Eli Chardashova is keeping her in check, waiting for any mistakes. Aneta Strukolova opts for an early joker lap, hitting some huge waves. She's unable to move ahead of Eli Chardashova, but exits in front of Natalie Kashlikova. The Czech rider wearing the number six shorts now up in fourth. Emma Stukolova hasn't been able to recover her fourth place start, now running in fifth. 
Behind her is Korean rider Lee Jin, up a spot into sixth. Aneta has one more chance, taking her final long lap in clean water, but Ellie is there and defends second position. The laps wind down and the checkered flag is out. Eliska Marishkova takes first place, Aneta Slukalova is second, and Ellie Charashova is third. It's really wavy on the Joker boys, so it was a little bit hard to not fall. But I managed to not fall, so I'm really glad. I can feel it in my legs. That I pushed hard and I was just screaming on myself, you know. Push, push, hunt, drive, even if you should die here. It was this close to second place, but yeah. class is the fastest and most thrilling category of the event. The most challenging of the motor surf divisions, here riders are allowed to optimize their boards for peak performance. With the prestigious Brinks Cup on the line, the competition has reached new heights of intensity. Matthias Novotny currently leads in the championship points and is the one to beat. Yeah, I feel a little bit pressure because Alex get better. Also now, Marek Škamla is a little bit better. He win the qualifying and I will see. Slovakia and Marek Škamla missed the first two rounds, but was back with a vengeance and was fastest in the qualifiers. Last, last year, uh, I managed to win qualification here in Italy. So it is just repeat and I hope that tomorrow and for the finals, it will be the same. Currently second in the championship, Alex Lukscheider had a flawless performance in Sweden and was looking to carry that momentum. But he had a rough qualifier, finishing in fifth. Dominic Kadlec was third and needed to deliver here. Dennis Burda missed the previous round but made his mark, snatching second in the qualifier. In heat two, Alex Lukscheider had a collision on the start lap and later broke down, unable to finish his race, earning zero points. Meanwhile, Marek Skamla led until a fall, and Dominic Kadlec managed to clinch the win, starting back from eighth. I'm third in the championship, so I want to close the gap as much as possible and try to push for the championship. In heat three, Marek Skamla led from pole to pole and took his first win. But it was Dennis Burda, with three consecutive second place finishes, who was number one going into the final. Matthias Novotny was second, and Marek Skamla third. The riders head out and line up for the start. The flag drops, at the back, Lukas Kozan quickly makes a move to the inside lane. Matthias Novotny nudges ahead of the leader, coming around the hole shot, but Dennis Burda has the inside lane. Oliver Navarro has caught up from ninth and fights Lukas Kozan for sixth. The leaders are tightly packed, everyone throttling to the max. Coming around the finish gate, Lukas Kozom fends off Navarro and keeps sixth, but both proceed to pass Jakob Kornfield. Dennis Berda is in the lead. Novotny second, Skamla third, Kadlec fourth, Lukas Kozom is up a position in fifth, and Oliver Navarro is up three in sixth. The six leaders form a tightly packed train, and with no split course, passing is difficult. Lukas Kozom is first to break out of the train, taking a long lap early on. Behind, Alex Lukscheider also takes his first long lap, taking advantage of the clean water and passes Jakob Kornfield. In lap four, Dennis Berda goes for the long lap and the train of riders follow. At the exit, Alex Lukscheider is there and dives in front of Dominic Kadlec, cutting the tightest corner on his backside. The two are locked in a battle, but it's Alex who prevails and moves up into third. However, the black sheep among the riders, Lucas Kozon, has run his own race and quietly moves up to first place using long lap strategy. Dennis Berda now in second leads the train of riders, Novotny, Lukšajda, Kadlec and Navarro. Lucas Kozon completes his final long lap unchallenged and locks in first. Then in lap nine, Dennis Berda has a fall and is passed by Matthias Novotny and Lukšajda, now up in third. But the race belongs to Lukas Kozon, who unnoticed slipped past the other riders and stuck his way into first place. Matthias Novotny gets valuable points in second, and Alex Lukšajda rallies back from eighth, 
to grab the final podium spot. I was sixth and I won this race. I'm so excited. I don't believe it. When I get really mad, I, got, I get what I want. So <laughs> I was aiming for first place, but... Stock finals kicked off with the younger stock arm Merlin Plus class. Czechia's Dennis Dushalek on pole for the final as the fleet lines up. Dennis had a good start while Adam Fitchek in second drops back, outpaced by an aggressive Faris Ramadan. David Ricker moves up into third on the outside. Dennis in the lead negotiating the big waves. Faris Ramadan close behind in second and the Q80 loses balance and misses the boy. That'll incur a penalty. Behind in the battle for third, Thai rider Yanton Vashasarek has caught up and is challenging David Kruka. The pair swing around with Yanton on the inside and the Thai rider does it, he takes third. But just after, it's disaster. Yanton loses control on the left-hander and David Kruka is back in third. Up ahead, Denis Dusilek in the lead, Fares Ramadan in second. Adam Fitchek is fourth, down from second, trying to recover this race. He's pushed by Thai rider Fantorn in fourth. In lap three, Faraj Ramadan trying to get around a back marker and wipes out at the right-hander. Adam Fitchek passes Faraj Ramadan up into third place. At the halfway mark, Dennis Dusilek continues in the lead. David Krika giving hard chase, trying to find a way around Dusilek. And Dennis Dusilek has a problem. He falls off the board on the straight. David Kricker passes into first place. David Kricker brings home his first podium of the season. Dennis Dusilek salvages second place and Adam Fitchek finishes in third. Ramadan back in seventh after his penalty. I don't know, I give it my all and it was really great, I really enjoyed it. Now I think and I'm more motivated to do better in other races. I'm very happy with the third place, but I also think that I could have done better, so yeah. Back to the racing and the stock final. The 12 riders line up and the race is on. Kim Min Song tucks down low and speeds off. Damien Kadlesh is second. Adam Janacek moves up on Kim down on the inside and the Korean loses control. Down, thrown by a wave and nearly takes out Adam Janacek as well. Bad luck for the Korean. Adam Janacek now up in third. Miroslav Kopsch is fourth. Hassan Bobas in fifth. Kim Min Song is in solid control at the front. Czech rider Damien Kadlec trying to keep up in second and opts for an early joker lap. In lap three, Adam Janacek is losing time trying to get around back marker Andre Versailles, but finally does it. Behind, American Anthony Squire has managed to move up to fifth place. In lap five, Damien Kadlec takes his final long lap, but emerges behind Jakob Kozon and Adam Janacek. Adam now in second and looking at his first podium of the season. Kim down in eighth, but it's not his day as he suffers another fall. American Anthony Squire has managed to claw his way up to third. Impressive feat after starting back from eighth. And so Kim Min Sung untouchable at the front his third first place finish of the season. Adam Janacek gets his first podium in second and Anthony Squire third. Jakob Kozon gets valuable points in fourth. Kadlec makes do with fifth. Yeah, it's, it's really hard, but uh, I'm come back. <laughs> From the fourth position, I went to second because Damien told me what to do with the joker laps. It was the best uh, way to go there, so I, I have to thank, thank him for this because he told me so. I started out eighth, ended up third. Uh, last year I started seventh, finished third, so not bad, I can do it again. And that concludes the fourth round of the Motosurf World Championship of 2024.
See you in the next race for more action.